Exercise can help lower blood pressure you, when you actually do aerobic exercise. So when we, we tell people to, to do exercise, we actually ask them to do aerobic exercise. So what is aerobic exercise? It's, it is aerobics. It's the kind of uh, uh, things that you think about. So you have to be moving your whole body. Your heart rate has to go up. And um, some people say, well, you can't lift weights and get an aerobic workout. Well, you can, but you have to actually do it in such a way as you keep your heart rate up as you're doing all the weightlifting. Usually we say that um, to get aerobic exercise, you shouldn't be doing heavy weights. Heavy weights is a different kind of weight. It's, and it has been shown not to improve your blood pressure. So in order to improve your blood pressure, you actually have to do aerobic exercise. And that means moving, keeping up the heart rate, and, and basically uh, doing that for a minimum, they say, of 150 minutes per week. Well, practically, what does that mean? That means five out of seven days per week, you should probably be doing aerobic exercise, whether it be walking or jogging, uh, for at least 30 minutes. And if you can do that, you can actually improve your blood pressure quite a bit. There are certain people, though, that have to be very careful. And those people actually are people that have foot problems with diabetes or actually have eye problems with diabetes. Now, if you have foot problems or eye problems with diabetes, it's good to talk to your healthcare professional before you start an exercise program to see if you should get a, a, a heart workup, to see if your eyes are uh, have damage to them that would mean that we have to restrict the kind of exercise you do, um, or uh, if your feet are bad enough and don't feel, uh, some of the exercises would be inappropriate for you as well. What are exercises that are good for anyone? Uh, swimming or pool exercises are good for almost anyone uh, because they're low impact and can actually help. So a lot of our patients enjoy low impact uh, bike riding or actually swimming is another one.